Mm-hmm. So I do this bit where I ask everyone a last question from the previous guest, and then I'll ask you a question. So your question is, how do you be persistent and resilient to get through the tough times? And then how would you teach that to someone? I, I think like your mind just has to get good at reacting in a way that's resilient. Like, I don't know if like, I, the, I'll, I'll, this is kind of a weird answer, but I yeah. think your brain just, it has a level of intuition and it has a system of reasoning. Your intuition guides like most of your your actions. 100%. Your reasoning, this book suggests, I don't know how legit it all of it is, pretty much just suggests like your reasoning functions to just kind of resupport your intuition most of the time, um, unless you're very conscious about not doing it, like in a lot of cases. So like, I think your brain just has to get good at doing that and being resilient. And then mm, you'll make up reasons for why you're resilient. Makes sense. So I think I'm dodging the first half of the, the question yeah, by yeah. just saying you just have to train your brain yeah. to do it. And that puts more emphasis on the latter half of the question, which is like, how do you train resilience? Um, and I think like you, I think you just have to constantly take little loops of success and failure of like, um, a good way of doing this I found is like games. Like I played a lot of games in college and in high school. And when I'm, I'm talking like lame games, like Call of Duty and like Fortnite, like your first person shooters of the world. And I'd take them pretty, I'd, I'd play like the competitive versions of them. Like it's not like super serious yeah. or like, um, well, at least not all the time. Like I'd play like some private games, like yeah. a bunch of tryhards where like they do the thing. And yeah. Like you're not playing for any rankings. You're just playing with people who care about rankings. And so anyway, it's like, there's a lot of that. But I think you'll start to, you have really good cycles of failure and like trying stuff. And then you'll do your very absolute best and you'll still lose. And that's important skill to learn. You just learn to be resilient that way. I think that's really important. Games, like very fast iteration cycles are very important. And I think games are really good at that. Nice. Um, Otherwise, like hearing from the stories of a lot of other entrepreneurs is really good too. Um, Just learning from history, from either biographies or just like, crazy historical situations like alexander the great went to war to go do all this crazy shit and then died at 30 and like did all this stuff and you you know like you'll start to just i think you'll t- I, I at least i think you'll start to just gain an appreciation for how hard life can be and how good life can be in a lot of different ways and it just provides a better nice. context I like for that. like well, you know maybe this isn't the yeah. biggest thing in the world or maybe this is an important thing in the world and you're 100 i like that i like that, I like that in that way there so what's yeah. your last question for my next guest um that's a really good question i was thinking about the content question but you've kind of asked that um maybe maybe like what is who is like the last like advisor or mentor that you think like really took the time out of their day like someone who just helped you out someone who's a little bit more successful just did something to help you out like it's a very kind thing for you yeah i guess is probably that's it okay yeah pretty cool but no thank you for coming on i had a great conversation where can listeners find you what do you want to plug what can we link in the description yeah you can find me on instagram i'm a singer i am a s well yeah s-i-n-g-h-e-r uh or you can just like connect me on linkedin you can find our website swaystack.com that's probably the big ways yeah uh yeah anything you want to plug anything going on other than swaystack um uh, are you not, raising you want to talk to customers or still figuring shit out yeah yeah talking to customers would be the best so like if you know any community banks or credit unions like that'd be great um, namely in like digital banking or marketing okay. but you know CFOs and CEOs will always make decisions happen so that's always great um, other than that like if you have feedback on the site like that's always good or if you just want to chop, chop product or like talk marketing that's just always useful um, especially if you've kind of been product at a financial institution that's like helping people engage with your product doing onboarding things like that that's always useful um we're not raising right now we're still kind of early but we'll always be happy to chat with with um with with people who are are willing to invest or looking in that space we're focusing more on getting our first customers and so uh if someone's interested in investing we'll probably you know reach back out to them in a couple months nice. when we feel a little bit more ready to go do that but we'll always love any intros there or any conversations with people in the space so um yeah it's pretty cool it. but no i think i think that's that's it thank you for coming on and we'll link everything you said in the description cool thanks man appreciate it